Hey, how's it going? It's Lee Halliday, and today we're looking at Valtio, which is a new state management tool that makes it really, really simple to share your state globally without having to use uh, the use context hook or providers or any of that stuff. And if you go to their homepage, what you see is two pieces of state, essentially. This counter that's just counting up forever in the top left, and this big number in the middle that's controlled by this button on the bottom right. So we're going to build something like that. Here's where we've got so far uh, the times and then the button we will click in the center to just increment. So let's look at the code. This is a React app inside of Next.js. Nothing to do with Next.js. I just like it as my go-to React um, setup. And what we've got here is importing proxy and use snapshot from Vaultio. And then we've got our um, component, which is rendering a times component to show that top left times counter and then the button in the middle, which will show the, the count. So let's declare our state. We'll say const state is equal to proxy and we pass an object in and then we've got times at zero and count at zero. Okay, state declared. That's all there is to it. And the way you actually use and interact with this state is through a hook called use snapshot. So const snap equals use a snapshot of the state. And a rule of thumb is you actually write directly to this state and then you read from the snapshot. So snap is for reading, state from this proxy is for writing. And we're going to use effect to basically set up an interval that is going to just add a number every second. So in here we'll say const interval is equal to set interval and then we've got our interval function every one second and so inside of here what we're going to do is just state dot times is equal to just add one to it every time so let's do our cleanup function from use effect so when this component unmounts what we'll call is clear interval on the interval okay and then we need to just show now this times. So remember, you write to state and you read from snapshot. So we'll do snap dot times seconds, and let's just see if it's working. Okay, zero. Cool, I don't know why it wasn't working before. It is now, so you can see it's counting up. Six, seven, whatever. It's great, so now let's move on to this button. So what we're going to do in the button is just show the snap.count. So remember, read from snap and right on click, we are going to simply um, take our state and increment the count by one. Oh, silly me. We need our snapshot. Okay. So this is counting up and so is this when you click it, they're independent. And the way I'm gonna show that they're independent is because I can add a console.log here um, of the snap.count. And when we come into here, you'll see that it rendered a bit at the beginning while it was initializing. But now when I reset, we've got this incrementing, but it's not going up as this thing um, increments. So it's only when it's causing this component to re-render. So what is happening internally is that this snap object is basically listening for which properties you read from inside of this component. And it's only listening for events when that property updates. So even though it's one piece of state with two properties, each component knows which properties are being read from, and then only when those change is it causing the component to re-render. So that's a pretty cool feature of Valtio. And um, another cool thing is that you can actually, you don't even need to use this in React. So what it comes with is a function called subscribe. So you can import that and then you can subscribe to changes in the state. So you can use this in vanilla JS and basically have this state proxy object 
subscribe to changes all over your app and it will basically call essentially a re-render anytime that state changes. So we're not going to do that today, but what I did want to show is basically like, Lee, this is all in one file. This is ridiculous. This isn't how a React app would actually be. So we're just going to split this up to show how you would use this in sort of a, a real application. So I've got a, a source folder with components. We're going to move our components in there. So times.jsx and count.jsx. And we'll just copy those in there. So get this one out, bring it in. And this one needs um, use snapshot from Baltio. And it is also going to need access to the state, which will import state from state, which we will go and define right now. Actually, it will be up a level. So we'll go in here and we'll say state.js and we'll move our state into there. So const state export state import proxy from Valtio. Okay, so this one's good to go. I think this one's good to go if I were to export the component. And now we need to go set up count. So we'll cut that out, move it into count, and it also needs state from our state file, and it needs use snapshot from Valtio. Oops, Valtio. And then we need to export it. So export default count. Cool. So I think these are good. I'm not using TypeScript here, so I'm sort of winging it. But what we can do, oh, it wouldn't have worked. We needed use effect in times as well, like that. But now what we can do is we can just import times from um, SRC components times, and then import count from here. Let's go see if we have any errors. Doesn't look like it. So somehow I made that work. Wicked. So now what you can see here is we've got our home page, our home component, rendering two components that are sort of importing the state just from a file that uh, declared the state and exported it. And then they're bringing in use snapshot so they can take a read of that state. And then we did the same thing for count over here. So now we've split everything up into nice separate files, our state in one, our two components in another, and we have global state shared across components. They're rendering independently, and we didn't even need to use, use context or a provider. Hope you enjoyed the video. Check out Baltio. It's pretty cool, and uh, have a great day. Peace.